guys, mabuhay maligayang pagbabalik sa aking YouTube channel. Siyempre controversial na naman si Chris Aquino dahil sa sunod-sunod na Instagram post niya at may kinalaman nga yun sa pagpunta niya sa Negros pa na magbigay ng mga ayuda ron. So maraming bumana at maraming nagsabi, ngayon pa lang namumuliti ka na raw si Chris. Tapos alam niyo na kung ano man. Anyway, ang situation naman talaga ngayon, eh, campaign na halos. Although, bawal pa talaga mag-campaign. Pero alam naman natin na election fever na ngayon, di ba? So, by next ilang buwan na, ay ilang araw na lang na actually ay 2022 na. At mga ilang buwan ay puspusan na, pukpukan na ang pangampanya ng mga politiko. But anyway, eto nga ang post ni Chris Aquino. Alam ko na babanatan ako ng mga ilan dahil sa post ko. But did you think maawat nyo ako? Bakit nyo ako tuturuan to quietly help? Hindi ko ninakaw yung perang ginamit. Hindi pera ng gobyerno galing sa sarili kong bulsa. Alam ko rin by posting marami pa ang mayanganyong tumulong kasi reality na. If you don't post it, it didn't happen. Kahit Pasko, sorry, I'm not in a, a bit sorry. Pasensyahan tayo sa mga haters and bashers. Obvious ba, I'm not my brother who was too humble and proper for his own good. Who chose to suffer in silence kaya namihasa na lang kayo. Thankfully, walang kapatid na awat sa akin ngayon. Saying, ignore them anyway. We know and God sees the truth. Iba na ang panahon. Because haters, bashers, and trolls, you are now getting the Aquino you super deserve. Dahil six years old pa lang, palaban na ako. And to my loyal friends, followers, and supporters, basta hindi feeling perfect na mapangusga, You will also receive what you deserve. Yung for life kung pangako na sa oras ng pangailangan, gagawin ko ng paraan na ako'y inyong maaasahan. And love, love, love tayo habang buhay. Ito pa. Some are accusing me na namumuliti ka ako. Hello, kandidato ba ako? Purposely crop out yung kandidato na kasama ko. Yung kulay ng suot ko. Sa dating bahay pa lang namin, alam nyo na. Favorite color ko. Sa lilipatan, mas predominant pa. Nung nakitira kami kay Noy noong 2016, nag-comment siya kay Rochelle, bakit puro pink na ang placement at plato natin ngayon? Pati, pati relationship namin ni Mel, may opinion kayo. Nagmamahalan, nagkakaunawaan kami. Inaamin ko yung mga mali ko, sarili kong nilaglag ko. Pinili ng mga na nagnega yung first two parts, completely ignoring how I paid tribute to Mel and how grateful I am to have him and his love for me because I am me. Facts about my kuya. Number one, sa panahon ni Noy, inuna niyang ayusin ang public-private partnership na pirmahan at nasimulan ng malinis ang bidding for MRT7 and Lex S. Lex Connectors na napapakinabangan na natin ngayon. Plus the completed in 2018 New Mactan International Airport Terminal, the 27 billion peso Cebu Cordova Link Expressway Third Bridge from Cebu City to Mactan Negotiation started as early as 2014 and signed before he stepped down. Dang Hari S. De Klink Road na iya expressway na tapos habang nakaupo siya. Tiplex, Tarlac, Pangasinan, La Union expressway partially completed during his term. Neda board chaired by Noy himself approved. Okay, you And the board chaired by Noy himself approved the 12, the 42.89 billion LRT line for Ortigas to Taytay and the 64.71 billion LRT line six connecting LRT line one extension in Bacoor southbound through Imos and Gandas Marinas Cavite PNR North South commuter railway from Tutuban to Malolos Bulacan formalized January 2016 during the visit of Japan Then Emperor Akihiro, Akihito through a November 2015 financing deal with JICA. Together with this was the negotiations for the road map of the Mega Manila Subway. Number three, Pangil Bay Bridge from Tangi City, Masamis Occidental to Tubodla, now Del Norte, negotiated with the South Korean government for the financing of said bridge. MOA between Philippine Government and Export-Import Bank of Korea Economic Development Corporation Fund signed April 28, 2016 Funded Panglao Airport in Bohol Construction phases of the new Legaspi Airport in Albay Rehabilitated our national highways nationwide And initiated the widening of these two four lanes All during these terms Number five, construction of 120,000 classrooms And the hiring over Of over 195,000 new teachers nationwide, salary increase for AFP, PNP, and other men and women of the uniform service under his executive order 201, salary increase of civil servants under salary standardization. Number six, push for the passage of the revised AFP modernization law and procurement of military hardware. 
to include fighter jets for the Air Force, force protection equipment for the Army, and new ship guard and new ships for the Navy Coast Guard. Ayan. Number seven, increase coverage of four piece beneficiaries to point four. 4.4 million households noy through an executive order initiated and implemented the universal health care program then he certified as urgent to congress the passage of what is now the universal health care act number eight good fiscal management and economic growth average of 6.2 percent gdp per year the rising tiger of asia ang bansag sa pilipinas Lahat inaral ng mabuti, mausay ang pagplano, tahimik na nagtarabaho, hindi nyo nga nabalitaan pero nangyayari na. And I do take responsibility for my mistake. Dapat pala ako, si Bunso ang naging unofficial yet credible and effective effective spokesperson niya. Ayan. So eto pa, sabi talaga ni Chris sa kanyang wall, um, Thank you babe for being my strength and because makulit talaga ako sa facts for making sure na tama lahat ng dates and figures na nilabas natin. Special thanks to Kuya Josh dahil for now, staying with us muna siya. Being thanks for helping mom move and leave me while making it seem too effortly. effortless. Apologies to everyone. I haven't thanked for their gifts nor replied to their messages. I'm single-minded when it comes to my tasks and my shoulders and back are still pulsing with spasm and cramps. Yan, simple but truthful explanation. May na-accuse na nagpunta pero ang konti naman ang dala. Merong marami tuloy-tuloy ang pagpapadala pero naghahinahanap siya. May nagpupunta ng personal pero press release ang nagkukwento so hindi tayo sure kung totoo ba. Sinigurado ko lang na alam nyo, hindi lang ako hanggang salita. Gusto ko patuloy kayong magtiwala ang maasahan nyo pa rin ako. Wrong for my body but correct for my heart and soul. So magkot ako through research art cards kasi united kami ni Mel. You all should at least know what Noy was able to do for the Philippines when 15,208,678,042.08% of the 2020 voting population gave him the biggest honor and responsibility any Filipino citizens could ever have yung pagkakataon na manilbihan at mamuno sa ating lahat. Let's have a peaceful and healthy Christmas leading up to when we welcome 2022. Eto pa, nag-comment naman si Angel Loxin. You're just helping ate kahit na marami kami nagsasabi na dedikado sa health mo. Gusto mo makamusta ang personal ng mga tao. And to make sure na... And to make sure na nakakarating sa tao talaga ang tulong, gusto mo iparamdam sa mas importante kayong lahat. Mahaba pa ta, pero 